Jennifer Love Hewitt may play a medium on TV, but my next guest is the real deal. Please welcome psychic medium Rebecca Rosen. Hi, Rebecca. I'm really glad you're here. Yeah, this is very cool. Now, people get a little nervous around this kind of thing, a lot of people, but you're saying that there's nothing to fear, right? Absolutely not. As long as you're working with a medium, you know, who's of the highest integrity, um, who's choosing to work with only positive energy, there's absolutely nothing to be afraid of. You know, there's a big misconception about the dark side. You know, take, for example, Jennifer Love Hewitt's character in Ghost Whisper. Mm -hmm. She works with ghosts and helping lost souls to cross over. The work that I do always is working with spirits and energies who are in heaven. So they're happy, at peace. It's the living that's not at peace. So what I do is I try and help them find more peace and closure, knowing their loved ones aren't really gone. Well, that's interesting. Now, for people who might not know the difference, what's the difference between a psychic and a medium? There's actually a very big difference. And the difference is all mediums are psychic, but not all psychics are mediums. And what that means is, Psychic readings have to do with reading somebody's energy. So you're picking up past, present, or future information based on what's in their energy field. And a medium's actually working with the energy of a discarnate being, whether it be a deceased loved one, an angel, a spirit guide. And we're talking about more of the here and now. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so I'm basically picking up information, and they, they impress their energy, thoughts, feelings, into my body. So then it's up to me to interpret that information. And and hopefully make sense. When did you discover that you had this ability? This happened, um, I was around 20 years old, I'm now 30, so about 10 years ago, and I was down at the University of Florida, mm -hmm. was going through a depression, and um, it manifested itself in a lot of different ways, and um, I was just crying out for help, and through that, you know, I have always believed in a God, but I've never been overly religious, so anyways, long story short, I was journaling one day, and all of a sudden, this energy came through and started writing to me. Hmm. And it, she said she was my angel, and from that, it transitioned into my grandmother. And my grandmother committed suicide when I was a little girl. She suffered from severe depression, hmm. and she basically was coming to me and saying, I don't want you to, to go, go down that same road. Go down that same road. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how can I help you? And let's help you to learn to love yourself and not look outside of yourself for that. And so she promised me if I did the work, because there's no magic pill. It would be nice if you know, things would just go away like that. But I had to do the work. And she said, if you, um, if you do the work, I will send you your soulmate. So I'm thinking, I'm making this all up. There's no way. But she's telling me his name. She's calling him Ryan. And this is over a year and a half, OK? Mm -hmm. So every day I'm writing to her. And I think I'm nuts. And I'm in the closet about this. I'm not telling people. Yeah. OK? Because you're a little worried. I'm yeah. a little worried. So my parents are a little worried. And so she's telling me his name is Ryan. He's going to give you a rose. This is what she always said to me. One time she told me his birthday. And she said, it's 924. Meant nothing. I threw my journal aside. Fast forward about a year, I end up meeting this man named Brian Rosen. On our second date, it dawned on me, Brian is Ryan, Rosen is Rose. So I went back to my journals. Before I told him, I went back and I found the birthday and I opened it and I said, I have to tell you what I do. And I told him, I said, is this your birthday? And he was floored. <laughs> How did you know? Oh, my God. So that's when I really started to trust, okay, this isn't me. That's, that's pretty, uh, pretty neat story. So now, I don't know how I feel about all of this stuff, but I'm getting a little vibe over here. A little bit, a little bit. Well, I'd love to read you if you're open to that. Yes, I am. In fact, all day I've been getting messages for you. So the first thing I'm going to tell you, you have a father who died? Yes. He's really strong. And I want you to know he's been with me from the time I woke up, getting ready, the first thing I'm supposed to tell you, and I hope, this is like interpretation, I hope I'm doing this right. He kept showing me a pig's face, okay? And I, fa I asked him, he, I think, was Dad a ham? Like, would you refer to him as a ham? <laughs> he is the biggest ham bone. We used to call him ham bone. Okay. Ham Say, ham bone, ham bone, where have you been? Around the world and back again. There you go. Because I knew he was trying to get me to acknowledge him as a ham, but I didn't know what that meant. The other thing is, he kept showing me smoking. My heart is pounding Smoking, right now. <laughs> smoking cigars, and he was with... He smokes cigars. He loves to smoke cigars, and he's with a brother who's standing next to him, and they're having a ball, and I kept, well, I'm seeing this right now, 
Okay, I want you to hear this. What's happening right behind you is I'm seeing the swirling energy, okay? I don't see dead people. I see their energy. So it's just a spark of light. He loves you. He's telling you to thank him for all of this. He knows your success, and he wants you to know, in a sense, he's living through you, okay, experiencing all this with you. And he's making me feel like, I don't know who Anne, do you know who Anne is? Who's I Anne? have a cousin named Anne. Is she deceased? Uh, no, um... No. <laughs> There's an Anne who died. And I don't know who's that connection to, but he's pointing above him. So it'd have to be like his grandmother, his mm -hmm. mother. Okay, the other thing I'm supposed to bring up is happy birthday. So that to me says, whose birthday's right now? Whose birthday? Uh, my mom's birthday was a couple of days ago. That's it. Happy birthday. And who's M-A-R Mary? Who's the M-A-R um, living? Living? M-A-R. Uh, my next... christening name is Mary. I was having an Oprah moment. I'm like crying. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's calling you Mary. Okay, so that's your name. Now... He's so funny. He keeps showing me his this. He's showing me my sign for comedy. Okay, and so he. This is, I think, for him. He's trying to make this a happy moment uh -huh. for you and not too heavy. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm just. I'm not um, sad crying. I'm just. I don't know. It's a nice something. energy. Girl crying. <laughs> I understand. Now, does a trumpet mean anything to you? Um. There was a. Um, uh, he loved Laurel and Hardy, and uh, there was a really funny Laurel and Hardy about horns. Where horns. That was his favorite horn thing. Yeah. Okay, he's showing me playing the horn instrument. And, I'm and I've been begging my husband to get me those Laurel and Hardy movies That's it. forever, and he just okay. gave it to me for our anniversary a couple weeks ago. Okay, Dad had something to do with this. Now, the other thing I saw earlier, and he was acknowledging, are, did you just get a new TV set? Are you having problems with the yes, TV Yes, we're set? having trouble with our he's TV. He's making fun of you. He's making fun of you. He's showing me, like, he's trying to help you figure it out. It's, he's, I don't know if he's messing with it, but he's definitely, <laughs> definitely in your home. Now, are you guys adding on some addition to this house? Who's building on? Um, we are having some uh, building in the house. We had a problem with our air conditioner, and we had mold and whatever. Did you have some, did your husband try and fix this? Well, my, my husband is a builder. He's a carpenter. He makes furniture. Whoa, no. This is more like, what is he? adding on what is what are you talking about knocking down a wall oh i i may know what you're talking about i might not want to say it right okay, now on okay. the tv set all though. right i'm putting that out there um i have also just sorry to interrupt your dad but i have a woman who's standing over here and this is on your mom's side it would have to be most likely your grandmother yeah um now Okay, if I said to you, who... We're probably supposed to go to a commercial, but I'm not going, so... Just give me one more minute, people. If I said to you, who wore... Okay, why... Sh she's showing me photos in bathing suits, and I don't know what this means, but did Grandma... Um, there... no, my, my, uh, my mother's... My mother, whose mother you're talking about, uh, there was a really... My favorite picture of her is in a bathing suit in a little inner tube in a pool. That's Grandma's favorite picture. You know, when they reference the picture, it's because she remembers Mom like that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she's trying to acknowledge how much she loves Mom. She's going to see this and go <laughs> through the ceiling. Okay. Well, that's amazing, and I would love to hear more. When we come back, however, Rebecca is going to read some of our audience. So we'll be right back. Don't go away.